of uh, Inner University. He will speak about boundary problems for the refined analytic torsion on uh, compact manifold refined. Okay, so thank you. Um, uh, I'd like to thank Professor So for organizing nice conference and inviting me. And um, today I'd like to talk about the boundary value problem for the refined analytic torsion or compact manifold with boundary. Uh, to understand what the refined analytic torsion is, uh, I'd like to review uh, very briefly the historical background of the torsion problem. The maybe I'd like to start from the Ridermeister torsion. The Ridermeister torsion was introduced in in 1930s by the German mathematician, the Ridermeister. And it is uh, uh, so homeomorphic invariant, so not a homotopy invariant. And it's defined for the, 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 C, the finite CW complex with the orthogonal representation of the fundamental group. Then um, Ridermeister torsion is an element of uh, the determinant line consisting of uh, the homology groups. And then um, if all the homology groups vanish, then the Ridermeister torsion is uh, the genuine the positive real number. It's, it is it's, uh, the homotopy invariant. And the Ridermeister and his student, the French, was, was successful to classify the range space of the homeomorphism using this invariant. Yeah. Determinant is the line. Yeah, determinant line. Uh, it's, it's not a boundary. It's just line. The one dimensional vector space. Uh, the one dimensional vector space. Yeah. And um, it's, 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 uh, in 1980s, uh, the TOEF uh, extended the Ridermeister right torsion. Whereas in, in the Ridermeister right torsion, um, the, the orthogonal representation is, is necessary. Uh, but the, the 12 uh, extended the Ridermeister torsion to the arbitrary representation of the, the fundamental group. So roughly, the 12 torsion is uh, the homomorphic extension of the, the Ridermeister torsion. So let us be a, C double, a finite C double complex. Then, and for the, the and alpha is, is the arbitrary representation of the fundamental group. Then we need more structures. It's, uh, it's called the Euler structure and the homology orientation if this K is R. But I don't want to go details for, 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 the, the, for these concepts. So what is XQ, X alpha? Uh, sorry? XQ, uh, X? Uh, determinant HQ, X alpha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's the, the, the cohomology group is the, is, is, is the, the representation. Whereas this, if you are given the, 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 the fundamental representation, mm -hmm. then using the, the local coefficient system, this alpha, mm -hmm. then, then you can find the, the, the cohomology groups. Then the triad torsion is an element of the, the determinant line consisting of the, 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 the cohomology groups. But here, it's a, the coefficient is, is just is, is, is complex. And the, if the only co cohomology groups vanish, then the triad torsion is a complex number. And um, if alpha is uh, the orthogonal representation, then the modulus of the, the, the triad torsion is, is, is equal to the Ridermeister torsion. And if I denote by the I ref SK, the set of all representations, then uh, is, uh, ref SK is um, the algebraic variety. And so it is uh, the, the complex structure. And um, if we fix the, the, orient, the Euler structure and the homology orientation, then the map here to here so this, this, to take the, the representation to the, 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 the triad torsion is a homology map. In this case, also determine this uh, line or yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. And um, the, the the next topic is the raising of analytic torsion. So the analytic torsion is is roughly the the analytic or the differential geometric analog of the Ridermeister torsion. It's introduced by Ray and Zinger in the 1970s. Its, it's the definition is as follows. Let MD be a closed Riemannian manifold and we have the orthogonal representation of a fundamental group 
and then tier 10 is a universal covering space. Then um, we obtain the, the, the flat vector bundle, and lambda Q is the, the usual, the Haji Laplace and active one Q forms. Then um, it's the analytic portion, just a lower one analytic portion is some kinds of the alternating sum of the, the determinant of this Laplacian. But uh, so let me give the, 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 the definition of the determinant a little bit later. So then um, the rearranging the conjectural state in the, in, in the, in the other dimensional compact manifolds, the rider minus torsion equals analytic torsion and is proved by the, the, the trigger and mirror independently. And um, in case of analytic torsion, in fact, uh, the, this condition is not necessary. As we can do the, the, the same game with the arbitrary the representation. And, um, uh, and analytic torsion can be defined by the, the manifold with boundary. Uh, with some, some, some nice elliptic boundary condition. For an example, the Dirichlet or Neumann boundary conditions or absolute relative boundary conditions. That's when, and we, we can define. Uh, the, yeah. Why is the condition for one for other dimension? Uh, well, there is a nice cancellation law. So in case of even dimensional manifold, so everything vanishes, the so only torsion is, is one. There is a, 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 a nice cancellation. Very yeah, 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 yes, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so usually torsion is um, the invariant of the other uh, dimensional manifold. The radius space is other dimensional manifold. So, um, so, so the the raising on on the torsion is uh, the the analytic analog of the randomized right torsion. So then uh, we can ask the naturally. So, what is the analytic analog of the so um, the, this topic has been studied in two directions. One is done by the Brigeria and Harlow, and the other one is, is, is Braboman and Kepler. And Brigeria and Harlow, they uh, use some, some non bilinear bilinear form, and they construct some, some non self agent Laplacian, and, and, and they define some, some complex value to raising a torsion. And uh, the, the other part is, is, is the, the refined on torsion which I want to talk about in this time. So, um, so, so let me uh, uh, explain the refined analytic portion of compact on a closed manifold. First one, um, let MG be a compact oriented Riemannian manifold with metric G and dimension is R. So let me denote like this. And L theta 10 is a universal covering space, and we have the, the arbitrary representation of the fundamental group, and uh, so we can obtain the, the flat vector bundle, and choose the flat connection. And um, so omega k is the uh, e-valued k forms, and we, this flat connection, the square is zero, so we extend this one to drum operator, so, uh, this is from k form to k plus one forms, and let me denote the schema. It's uh, some normalized hard star op operator so that the square is, is identity. Then the, the, the class, what? the other signature opera operator is de defined like this. Then the square is, is usually Laplace. So it's, it's, it's a nice way to, 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 to to split the, the Laplace into the square of the, the one dimension, one uh, the operator of degree one. So you see this nice Dirac operator. <laughs> then um, uh, we have the, the drum complex like this. And for simplicity, um, I want to assume the, the, the uh, two assumptions. It's the complex is a cyclic, and it's the other operator is an immutable operator. Otherwise, the refined analytic torsion is an element of the determinant line. So, well, to avoid this complexity, I want to assume uh, 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 these two, two conditions. How general are those assumptions? Sorry? How general are those assumptions? Um, well, I think it, it, it's, it's, the, it's the generic case. I mean, uh, if we twist by some representation, then uh, it's, it's, it's generic case. It's, 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 it's the most of uh, Comer is vanishing mm -hmm. in, in, in the twist case. I mean, the representation is trivial, and of course, 
the, the, the first homology is, 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 is a normal component, but in, in this case, it's, it's, it's the most cases vanish it. And uh, let me note, um, omega k plus is the, so it's the co-closed k form, uh, co-exact k forms, and omega k minus is exact k forms, and what? Under these con con uh, conditions, uh, it's getting composed like the exact forms and co-exact forms, and even other forms. Then the other signature operator is preserved all the uh, uh, parities, then the even forms, even forms, other forms, other forms, exact forms, exact forms, exact forms, exact forms. And this, uh, the, we call this is chirality operator. It's, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a very, uh, normalized uh, hard star operator. It uh, change, uh, reverse changes all the parties, and even to add, add to even, uh, exact, coexact, 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 coexact. This. Then um, uh, we then define the, the graded determinant like this. Uh, if you take the logarithm and then have, have some computation, then we have uh, 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 this expression. Here, uh, the determinant means that um, it's a beta squared Q is, is, uh, is uh, the usual Laplacian or the square of our signature operator acting on Q forms. Then it has uh, the, the, uh, we, the lambda is a spectrum of this one. It's, it's manifold is compact and it's discrete. And we have uh, the beta the J data function. But this is the heat corner expression. Then um, the determinant means the, the, the derivative of this data function at zero. And and uh, so, well, it's a, so it's a, the usual determinant is log of e to the minus this one. It's, it's a nice generalization of the usual determinant. And uh, we uh, define the eta function like this. It's, uh, it's a very even, and take the, the, all the eigenvalues, the sign of this one, and, and uh, if you use the that's the heat corner expression of, of this one. And the eta invariant means the, the, the value of zero, uh, value of this eta function at zero. And then um, as if we, uh, is the graded determinant can be expressed like this. And um, if the old, old cohomologies energy, then uh, this part, uh, this part is called the raising of the analytic torsion. This part is, is a topological invariant. It doesn't depend on the metric. But this part is, is, is depend on the metric. So to obtain the metric independent uh, object, we use the, the low invariant technique uh, like this. Um, so let me denote very trivial. Uh, is a D is this, it's, well, you should use the, the, the trivial representation and, and, and trivial line bundle. <laughs> and D is the usual the drum opera operator. And this is the, the normalized hard stop operator. Then let me denote it, it is a trivial other signature of operator. And uh, we used to consider the, 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 the eta invariant for, for this trivial uh, other signature of operator. Then um, uh, the re refined under the torsion is defined like this. It's uh, this one times this one. So well, uh, if you take the logarithm and, and the, the rewrite, then the lower refined under torsion like this, this one. So, so this one is a raising the analytic torsion. It uh, doesn't depend on the metric. And this one is, is called this row, row invariant. It's a, it doesn't depend on the metric. So, so uh, it's a it's row invariant uh, is introduced by the, the, the Akiya part of the single. Uh, and many, case, many cases, it's a homotopy invariant. So it's the it's it's definition of the refined analytic torsion. So roughly, the refined on the torsion is, is the complex number whose uh, modulus part is, is the, the raising of the torsion and the phase part is, is the, the row invariant. The row invariant means the, the difference of the eta invariant. Uh, so so, um, so, 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 it's, so it's, it's the, the Brauman Kaufman's is, is main result and the, the, the difference between the, the refined on the torsion and tri torsion can be expressed this is like this. Here, the, your phi c is an unknown constant. So, so far, they didn't figure out the, the exact relation of this one, but it, it, it's an unknown constant, still is open. So now, um, so it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a work for 
the, 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 the prophets of Huang in, in Taiwan and, and myself is, is uh, um, so we want to uh, define the, the refined under the portion of compact manifold is bounding. So, um, so, so let me denote by the, um, the, the MG is a compact oriented Riemannian manifold with boundary Y, and let me denote the dimension like this. And G is, is the Riemannian metric, but uh, I want to assume that it's G is the product metric near, near the boundary. And M is the color label to, of Y, which is isometric to this one. Then we write the, the differential form near the boundary like this. It's a, usually we call this tangential form, it's normal form, so it's omega 1, omega 2, like this. And we uh, denote, denote by beta is, is, is P form, then just multiplication of minus 1 to the power P. And let me denote gamma Y is the induced uh, hard, hardest operator on Y uh, times some normalizing constant, so that the square is I oh, okay. uh, well, so we just uh, for for simplicity, we just write down like this. Is the so near the boundary? Oh, uh, D U is is the is the is the is the, is the, is the normal tangential uh, no, the normal form the near uh, yeah 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 near the boundary. So it's it's, it's tangential form is normal form. Then um, the other signature operator can be expressed like this near the boundary. So the square of this term is, is, is my minus identity, and this term and this term uh, is, is anti commute like this, and square looks like this. So that's very typical type of Dirac operator. So usually the, 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 the nice Dirac operator is, is, is G times round u plus tangential theta operator like this. And um, uh, for simplicity, we assume that is the uh, nabla is, is, is the connection is a Hermitian connection, means that for some uh, Hermitian, uh, Hermitian scalar product on E, it satisfies uh, uh, this relation. Well, the, uh, the representation is, is unitary or orthogonal, then we can always choose um, uh, this Hermitian connection, but in general case, uh, but we can't guarantee. Uh, but we assume that, the, for simplicity, we assume that it's a, it's a, it's a connection is a Hermitian connection. And um, using the the hardest operator and the, the Hermitian scalar product for it on E, so we can define the, the, the inner product on the, the, the space of the, the, the differential forms, the usual way. Then the, the green formula for the um, the, the, the other signature of operator is, is, is given like this. So now um, to uh, so the other signal um, the refined uh, analytic torsion or analytic torsion are just the spectral invariant. It's defined by the spectrum of the Laplacian or some Dirac operator. So uh, well. To define the, the spectral invariance on the on the manifold with boundary, we need a boundary condition, just some nice boundary condition. So uh, there is is the order one operator. So it is a very well known fact that no elliptic local boundary condition can be admitted for the, the order one operator. So the the, the elliptic local boundary condition means the Dirichlet, Neumann, what the absolute relative, it's just well known boundary condition. So so we need to choose a well post boundary condition for B, uh, so something like the, the Atia for the single boundary condition or Cardano projector like this, but both of them doesn't work for, for, for in this case. So, um, so, um, so the, 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 the why is this boundary eh? and the differential form by the hard decomposition is, is, is decomposed like this. Um, this is uh, it's the exact form, for the exact forms, harmonic forms. And um, so, uh, and the, the, the harmonic forms, it, it has uh, the simple like space structure. And then um, and, and, uh, to, uh, to define the, um, for the, for the, for the well boundary condition, 
we did take the, 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 some, the nice Lagrangian subspace of, of this one. So um, if um, the phi is, 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 is uh, the global differential form, if phi satisfies this, uh, this condition, then phi can be expressed like this uh, near the boundary. And we define the k means the set of all these forms. And, and gamma yk being the set of all all these forms, then um, the, ha the the harmonic forms can be expressed like this. Is uh, so this one plus this one, and uh, both of them are orthogonal each other, and and both of them are the Lagrangian subspaces of of, of of this one. And um, um, and let me denote by L0 is, is, is KK, L1 is, is this one. And also, uh, let me define two orthogonal projections, P minus and P plus, like this. It's a first one, the, the, it's, it's, a, it's a, the space of differential forms. And if we restrict the differential forms, then we can like this. It's, it's a tangential form, and, and it's, it's a normal form. I mean, the, some omega 1, plus du omega 2 like this, so omega 1, omega 2 like this. And um, let me define this p minus is the, is the projection to the, the, the exact forms, exact forms, and plus is co-exact co forms, co-exact forms. So then, um, and um, uh, the p minus L0 is, is a projection to exact forms, exact forms plus this one, and p plus L1 is Co-exact forms, co-exact forms from projection of, of this one. So then um, p minus and p plus p minus l zero and p plus l one are pseudo differential operators of degree zero and give uh, well posed boundary conditions for this odd signature operator. And the boundary value can be expressed like this. So the boundary condition gives the projection of, of, of this space or this space. And um, we define the, the realizations of the art signature operator and the square. It's just square means just Laplacian. The realization means just the restriction of the domain of this uh, operator. So, so if we take the, the domain of this one, is, is there some differential forms satisfying this boundary condition and domain of this one is, is, is domain of this one is some differential operator satisfying this condition and this condition then um, so this operator and this operator are <coughs> self joint operators <coughs> and has some, some, some nice symmetry for this clarity operator and the, the kernel is isomorphic to uh, it's, uh, it's the relative homology, cohomology, and this corner is, is, is the absolute cohomology. This. Um, then, um, uh, then, uh, then, um, and, and, um, so, uh, if we restrict the, 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 the domain of this, uh, domain of this operator to, 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 to this one, and restrict the, the, the domain of this operator but the, the, the similar space, then they has the spectrum, the eigenvalues of this operator, this operator are discrete, and we can define the, 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 the zeta function and eta function like this. And, uh, uh, and um, uh, the Fuang and I showed proof that uh, uh, so all these four functions uh, was holomorphic, holomorphic for real S is, 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 is large enough, in fact, so this one, this one is a real part is bigger than the dimension of m over two, and this one is, is bigger than the just dimension of m. Then um, they have the nice uh, meromorphic continuation and have have regular values at s equals zero. So you can take the the, the, the derivative of this one at s equals zero and take the zero at uh, 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 of these two eta functions after taking the analytic uh, continuation. Then now. Um, so we can define, um, but in fact, um, the, 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 this condition uh, is necessary for, for simplicity. So we can define the the the, uh, the refined energy distortion as uh, a similar way, like this, as in the, the closed case, and also so 
we define the device of the retortion for this powder condition like this. Let us I drop down the L1 and L2 because the old the, the cohomologies. So I assume the old cohomology vanishes. And um, so uh, one criterion that uh, this boundary condition is 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 meaningful or, or not is the the, the gluing formula for the, the refined annual torsion. Uh, let mg is the closed Riemannian manifold, and and y be uh, the hypersurface of m such that m minus y has two component, so that m is like this. Right? The, the two component is not necessary. It's, it's one component is it's no problem. And then um, we take the the, the um, take the re representation and, and 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 obtain the uh, the, the flat vector bundle. And here uh, we assume that all the cohomologies vanish. Uh, so the so cohomologies of E and cohomologies of M1, M2 vanish. And also Nabla is a Hermitian connection and G is the product metric near Y. Uh, here, uh, uh, this assumption is, so far is necessary for the technical reason. Uh, then um, Huang and I uh, proves that the refined analytic torsion with uh, more is, is, is a strong assumption. Uh, and the refined analytic torsion for a total manifold <coughs> is the product of the refined analytic torsion with M1 with this boundary condition times M2 for this, this boundary condition. Uh, well, um, so I'm thinking that uh, the, the way of the, the weakening uh, uh, this condition, but so far I don't go with I can't, can't go further. So that's all. Thank you for attention. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Any questions?